Let that flag fly, buddy. Back at Cycle House. With the Turbo Nasty. We're about to make a hit. Getting things cleaned up back there. Dino's got a little bit of stuff on it. We're good to go, though. No go. Okay, getting things set up over here, guys. Jerry's getting the dyno dialed in over here. We're actually going to make a horsepower pull this time. We're going to pull some, some mad boost, and we're going to make some big horsepower. Steve's over here plugging away. He was showing me his new little goodie over here. This, guys, is an H2 frame. Two-stroke, fully molded, fuel tank in the top, custom front end, custom everything. Built here in St. Louis many years ago to compete. As you can see, it's yet to come back together, but it's coming together here soon. He's going to fully build an engine. He's going to get a front end for it. He's going to make this thing scream, two-stroke style, smoking all the way down the track, having a shitload of fun. <laughs> I can't wait to ride it. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's see what happens here.
Did sound good? Yeah. <laughs> Take a look here, guys. Four-star climb. Torque curve is just about as good as it gets. Air fuel is looking pretty good with just a little bit of lacking pedo pressure and a little bit of power jet. Man, look at that, guys. Pick up, see what the air fuel is right there at the very top where it goes lean. Right about 65. Wow, yeah, it's even 12.5 there, guys. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. <laughs> yes! We finally have our fuel problem figured out. We can make boost. We can give it tons of fuel. We can pull it back. We can give it more. I want to turn the boost up and see what this thing is really going to do now. But I think we should save that for a different engine, not this engine I'm trying to be careful with. Wow, guys. Holy cow. This thing is ludicrous. Look back here, guys. I think our number might have been a bit skewed because that tire, it looks like it was maybe spinning just a little bit down here. Plus, <laughs> I think we're rubbing up in here because we were doing well over 100 by one hour there. And, uh, man, <laughs> this thing is no joke, guys. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys, we're back home here. <laughs> Let's just see. Give her a little test. A little fuel pressure. Yep, that's all four still hitting. Motor's still plenty happy. Of course, I rode it home too, man. When it comes on the boost now, it's it's wicked. It's official. Yeah, turbo spinning. Good old pressure. Still got good vacuum. Yep. <laughs> Can't wait to get this thing over the track. It's gonna be, it's gonna make a real hit this time, all the way, fully set. Pick this off so you guys can hear me. Okay, we're good there. Down here now, what this is, this is my pedal vent. Essentially, pedals are all tied together down on the bottom end. Well, my float bowl drains are all tied together. They come down here, come to this. This valve allows me to control that's shut off. That's a little bit of pedo. That's a little less pedo. So when I shut it off, that gives a lot of fuel. When I taper the pressure off, that pulls the fuel back. And it allows the fuel to come in later under boost. And down here, we have the power valve. It, right over here, the adjustable power valve. It is out almost one turn right now, which is nothing. It, uh, it comes out, I think, about nine, 10 turns, and it's out not even one, just to keep the high-end fuel, when it really comes up on the higher boost, to keep that good to go. Uh, on the pictures that I had, or the, the printouts from the run, let's see here, shows the air fuel, it's good to go. Even at full boost, at 9, 000, almost 9,000 RPM, we were at, uh, I think it was 9.99, so <laughs> AFR is good. You can see the horsepower is just screaming. Torque curve is just like a good old flat road, except for my scribble over here. Just trying to highlight things so you guys can actually see the lines. They're kind of hard to see on the printout because, of course, they're not the best, but I give a little highlight in there just so, you can, so we can actually see, so I can see too. Man, things are so good. Timing is way low. Hob switch pulls. Right now, Mr. Hobbs, that's why the horsepower, horsepower starts dipping up here on the top because when the hob switch pulls, uh, I think right now it's set for nine degrees of timing. The base timing is super low to begin with. When the boost comes up to five pounds, 
Mr. Hobbs there pulls five degrees, or pulls nine degrees, which pulls out the horsepower on the top, but that's totally okay because the horsepower numbers are <laughs> excellent right now. I can put colder plugs in, I can add a little more fuel, I can put a little more timing, the horsepower is going to just keep going up, <laughs> it won't dip off. Wow. Once again, so much more to come. Going to the moon, guys. We got us a rocket ship. <laughs> yeah. Later on. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. It's all working out.